he got to me and he said, um, Dr. America, how much money do you have? And I said, I asked him, and he, yeah, it was really, Ram Dass has talked about a similar experience with We never talked about Maharaji, with Maharaji money ever. I tried giving him money when I joined WHO. I would put rupees under his blanket. He would throw them away, give them, I mean, just, there's no way you could give him money. He just wouldn't, wouldn't take it. Or maybe someday he would say to me, you take that money and give it to her, she needs the money, you'll kill the jury. But he didn't take a commission. <laughs> Um, birds and saints don't collect. He, uh, so this one day he said, how much money do you have? And I think I was past feeling um, cynical by that. And I said, uh, oh, it probably was a little something. Always. He, I said, well, I've got, I thought about it for us. I've got $500. He said, no, I don't mean here, which is what I'd answered. I mean, back in America, how much have you got in America? And I thought about it, and I think all that I had in America was $500, too. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, another $500. And he laughed, and he laughed, and he laughed, and he said, $500 here, $500 there. You are no doctor. You know, tum to doctor me. Tum to doctor me, tum to doctor me. And he's just, you know, chanting and laughing. You, you know, you're not a doctor, and I'm thinking, you know, you're not everything. That's what my mother would have said about me. You have no money, you're not a real doctor. Right. I sent you to medical school. <laughs> um, and then he changed. And this chant that he was doing changed from Tumto Doctor Me to You are no doctor. You are no doctor. You are no doctor. Enchanted, you are no doctor. You are no doctor. And he giggled and he chanted. Nobody knew what he was saying. And then he looked at me and he said, UNO doctor, UNO doctor. And I didn't get it because we, we call the United Nations the UN. Mm -hmm. Indians call the United Nations the United Nations Organization. It's proper name, mm -hmm. UNO. And all the, the chiefs would say UNO. They wouldn't say UN. Um, and he was saying, UNO doctor, UNO doctor, Hojaida. You will become the United Nations doctor. And then he said, you will go to villages, Tika Lagana, and you will give them shots, vaccinations. And that's when he said, um, this Katana Mahamali, Katana Hujayi, Unmulan Hujayi. Katam is Urdu, Unmulan is Sanskrit. That smallpox will be eradicated. And I, it took me a long time, and I said, Dada, what does he mean? And Dada was as bemused as the rest of us, and he said, well, he's saying, you're going to, for the United Nations and go to villages and give injections about this disease. And uh, he used the term chechik, which people said was rashes. Mm -hmm. and then somebody said, well, that means smallpox. And, um, and then Maharaji, after all this giggling and laughing and this great effervescent pixie dust-like moment, and and giggling, and then he looked at us very soon and he says, Tum Jao, you, you go, where? You go to Vishwaswas, you go to WHO, you go to the UN, you go get your job. What job? And um, I had never, of course, seen a case of smallpox. If we cover it in medical school, it would have been, in, you know, a footnote. Yeah, at, at best a footnote. I mean, even it had been eradicated in the United States since 1949, mm -hmm. 20 years before I went to medical school. Um, and India was one of only four countries in the world that still had smallpox. Um, but India was exporting smallpox to the rest of the world, so the rest of the world could never eradicate smallpox until India did. And we were staying at a house um, in Nizamuddin, uh, owned by a guy named Joe Lieb, who was... Uh, importing uh, uh, Japanese miso to the restaurants in Delhi and exporting something else that looked a little bit like miso. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> and uh, one day this guy, Ned Willard, right after Maharshi had said that, I didn't, know, I didn't even know where to go. I didn't know how to, you know, please give me something actionable. I mean, what do you, 
you will be a UN doctor. What does that mean? You will go to villages and do vaccination. This smallpox will be eradicated. That's God's gift to me. What does that all mean? And um, this guy uh, came by and visited his house, and we met, and we were talking. I said, where do you work? He said, I work for WHO. I said, oh, that's really funny. Oh, that's just really funny. Uh, my guru says I'm supposed to work for WHO. Oh, yeah, are you a doctor? <laughs> I said, yeah. You know, More or less. <laughs> I'd sort of forgotten that I was a doctor. By then. And um, he said, well, there's no smallpox program. Um, but there, you know, there's a, this amazing woman, um, Nicole Rasse, who was sent here to try to start a smallpox program. But she's the only one. There's no program. Government didn't even want to start a program with smallpox. Because while smallpox might be a priority for the globe, it's just not a priority in India. Kids are dying of diarrhea and respiratory diseases. Smallpox is just... Well, it turned out that smallpox was a huge problem, but nobody knew it. It hadn't been reported. People hid cases of smallpox. It was conceived as sort of a goddess visiting your house. The goddess was called Shikalama, the mm -hmm. golden mother. And not really a goddess in some kind of a... Those primitive people worship that disease. It was more like goddess who could be a cooling mother to a child, that the fever was conflated with the fever. It's an Indian kind of mm -hmm. way in which you know, like becomes light. White radishes can cure hepatitis because they're not yellow carrots. It's kind of, we don't necessarily, our, our synapses don't quite work that way. Um, and so I went to WHO and uh, with him, and um, he took me to the personnel office. And uh, I was still wearing pretty much my ashram whites, which probably looked to them like a dress. <laughs> and I had a beard down to about here, and I had hair down to the middle of my back. And scruffy would have been a little bit of an upgrade. Um, and uh, they wouldn't even, I mean, to say they kicked me out is, they kicked me out. <laughs> uh, and uh, we went back to the ashram. Marge said, did you get your job? And I said, no. By then we were in Kenshi. Mm -hmm. and, um, and he said, we'll go back. 